Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to talk about how to start an Airbnb. This is going to be a two-part series. This is part one, everything it takes to get your property ready. Part two is going to be next week and that is listing your property and everything you need to do to list your property. So let's get your property ready right now. Let's talk about getting your property ready. So the first thing guests need to do is get in the house. So how are they gonna get in the house? You need to get a smart lock. The smart lock we use is a Sledge Encode smart lock. Easy to install. The app is really super easy. You can change codes between guests. You can turn codes on Thursday before the guest checks in, Sunday after the guest leaves. Very easy to use. That's the first thing you're gonna do. The next thing you need to take control over is the thermostat. Get a smart thermostat. We use the Echo B3 Lite, super easy to use. It's also got an app where you can control the temperature. You can turn the temperature up a little bit in the winter when the guests are checking in. But the main thing is once the guest leaves, you can turn the temperature back to an ambient temperature so your heating bill isn't so high. All right, the next thing you need to do is identify an area where you're gonna be able to have a locked closet or locked storage area for your linens and all your disposals. We'll go over a list of this at the end of this video, but you will have access to this and your cleaners will have access to this, but it'll be locked and your guests won't have access to this. These are all the things that you put up between guests towels, linens, stuff like that. I'll give you a list at the end of the video. Let's talk about cleaners. Cleaners are the number one most important thing in your Airbnb setup. We chose a cleaner that was big enough to do a quick turn. A quick turn is when somebody's checking out in the morning at 11 and another guest is checking in at four o'clock. They need to have a big enough infrastructure to go ahead and do that in only five hours. Guys, Biggest mistake I've ever seen anybody set up an Airbnb is try to clean the property themselves. Do not do that, guys. Choose a professional cleaner. This is the number one most rated thing on Airbnb is the cleanliness of the property. Take it seriously, take some time, choose the right cleaner, you will not be sorry. Label everything. Make it easy for your guests. Spend 20 or $30 on a label maker. We went around the kitchen. Every drawer is labeled what's in the drawer. Is it silverware? Is it foil? Is it Tupperware? Where the plates are listed, where the spices are, just do your guests a favor. They're only there for a few days. They wanna know where things are when they check in. We also have a label by the fireplace, how to turn the fireplace on. Nobody's gonna read your manual, even though I suggest that you have a manual for your Airbnb. Nobody's really gonna read that. They do read those labels. We have so many good reviews saying, hey, thank you for making it easy for us at your Airbnb. A few must-haves we need to mention, fire extinguisher, CO2 alarms, and a first aid kit. This is a fun one, guys, and it will separate your property from others. So choose a theme when you're setting up your property. We chose a bear theme, so our comforters have bears on them, our pillows have bears on them. There is bear placards welcoming you when you come to the property. If you're at the coast, maybe you do some sort of a fish theme. Maybe if you're at a golf resort, you do some sort of a golf thing or a fishing thing, or just come up with your own theme. You know, if you like the Hawaiian vibe, just go with that. But choose a theme and it'll be easy and fun for guests when they come there and they'll definitely remember your place. So in setting up our property, we decided to get rid of cable and buy all new smart TVs and hook them up to Wi-Fi. We have free Netflix at our property and a free Wi-Fi, of course, but we don't have the expense of cable at our property. Something to consider. So once people get to your property, what are they gonna do? So we bought a bunch of games for inside and puzzles. Also for outside, we bought cornhole board and a giant Jenga board so they could have something to do outside as well. We also have a barbecue outside. So we're just trying to help the guests just kind of picture themselves at our property. Let's get to your locked owner storage. So for your linens, you're gonna need twice whatever you have out. So if you have 
linens on the beds, you need that amount of linens in your closet. If you put eight towels out, eight hand towels, eight washcloths out, you need another eight of all of those things in your locked storage area. So twice whatever you put out. So you have what you have put out, the cleaners are gonna grab that, they're gonna grab the clean stuff, and they're gonna change it out. They're gonna take the old stuff with them, and they're going to wash that and bring that back the next time. So for disposals, here's what you need in your back stock. You need toilet paper, paper towels, kitchen sponges, trash bags, laundry pods, dish pods, dish soap. We use makeup wipes so we don't wreck our washcloths. Coffee pods because we have a Coreg machine and I suggest you get a Coreg machine because people love coffee and they love free coffee in the morning, especially me. So that's all the things that I would put in my lock storage area. Thanks for watching part one, guys. If you got something out of this, please give me a like and a subscribe. Also hit the notification bell because we're gonna bring you part two, which is gonna talk about some juicy stuff about how much to list your property for, how to take proper photos, what your description needs to look like. That will come next time on Everything Airbnb with me. Keep grinding, guys.